leadership with regards to children li living in non-formal areas and why they need it more. You can be part of this conversation by sending in your comments, questions, or simply telling us where you're watching us from on e across all social media platforms. Or you can talk to me directly on my social media handles at Eve underscore one on Instagram and Twitter and Evelyn Nyaga on Facebook. My guest today goes by the name Jane Wanjiro and she's a teacher and a mentor and she'll be telling us more about herself and her mentorship program. Welcome. Thank you so much. So how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good, Chris. <laughs> so thank you so much for making time to be with us. Thank you. I should be appreciating. Karibu. I had been praying for such a moment mm -hmm. and I thank God it's here finally. Yes. Yeah. So kindly introduce yourself and tell us what you do professionally. Okay, my name is Jane Wanjiro Mogo. Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher with TSC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a wife, mm -hmm. a mother to mm -hmm. two boys. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. Um, so talk to us, since you're a teacher, yeah. um, which grade do you, do you teach? Mm -hmm. Or rather, which level do you teach? Oh, mm -hmm. class six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. class six, seven, eight. So um, talk to us about the mentorship program that you have okay. and um, with relation to you being a teacher. Okay, let me take you backwards mm -hmm. a bit. When I was posted to Kayole, I went to Imara first and mm -hmm. then I was transferred to Kayole North, mm -hmm. formerly Matopeni. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I, it's a non-formal settlement area. Yeah. And when I reached there, I realized that uh, children are vulnerable. Yeah. to a lot of vices like drug trafficking mm -hmm. and militia gangs, uh, early prostitu prostitution uh, and other vices. Mm -hmm. And so as a teacher that passion that I had mm -hmm. in guidance and counseling, which I did at Mount Kenya University, mm -hmm. I felt it was, I was in the right place yeah. and with the right people. Mm -hmm. And so immediately with the help of my hand teacher, mm -hmm. we started a program by the name Life Skills. Yeah. And with the help from uh, life skill promoters mm -hmm. and uh, UNICEF, they came in and we started that program on mentoring kids, taking them through the important life skills programs. Yeah. And I thank God for the step so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're saying children from class six, seven, and eight, yeah. they're exposed to all these vices yeah. at such tender age. Yeah. Have you experienced such cases? A lot, mm -hmm. a lot, a lot. In fact, I want to thank the hand teacher, mm -hmm. uh, Mrs. Nderi. I, I want to believe maybe she's watching mm -hmm. or she'll get to watch this. Mm -hmm. Together with her, we realized that uh, this, it, 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 it was happening in our school, actually. It's still happening. Yeah. Drugs, mm -hmm. children are getting access to drugs. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, the, 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 the environment itself, yeah. we have people selling drugs to kids. Mm -hmm. And so we have a lot to do mm -hmm. in talking to these kids mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, and telling them the dangers of these drugs. Yeah. And, and of course other vices, like I said before, it's not about drugs. The yeah. other things, like the limitia guns, which are there. Which are there. So you find that it's a challenge mm -hmm. that these kids, or the, when we release them in the evening, uh, because it's a day school, mm -hmm. there's a conflict of interest. Because as teachers, especially as mentors, mm -hmm. we are with them, mm -hmm. talking to them about morals, mm -hmm. values. Mm -hmm taking them through the life skill programs but mm -hmm. then when they get out there mm -hmm. they are they, they are getting they are exposed yeah. to such kind of um, militia groups and other mm -hmm. and other things and that's out of yeah. your control definitely yeah yeah but i thank god it's working mm -hmm. since we introduced this program we have seen a tremendous change in behaviors mm -hmm. by the way we have kids mm -hmm. who have left school yeah class eight mm -hmm. and uh, we are following them up we don't mm -hmm. leave them when they do the kcp mm -hmm. We follow them up even to high school where they went to, and they come back to us, thanking us, because we realized that uh, before, previously, they didn't have mentors or shoulders to lean on or people yes. to share with. Yeah. But when we started their program, mm -hmm. they came in and we are working together and we, we, we thank God mm -hmm. so far. So when was the program Life Skills started? 20. 15 mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. 2015 mm -hmm. yeah what was your main goal when starting that program to give hope mm -hmm. to these kids yeah yeah to to encourage them and motivate them and tell them it doesn't matter the environment mm -hmm. it's about attitude and individual mm -hmm. not about the environment they are in mm -hmm. yeah so basically we were the peer pressure was mm -hmm. too much negative peer pressure mm -hmm. and so we told them it's about you as an individual it's not about the environment it's not about the group 
fine, your cousins do it, your neighbors do it, but it doesn't have to be you. Yeah. It's your life. Mm -hmm. It's your life. Mm -hmm. So when we started that, they started seeing signs and it was not easy initially. Yes. Mm -hmm. It has not been easy. Mm -hmm. Like I said, conflict of interest mm -hmm. because of the community around. Yeah. But I thank God we be talking even to parents mm -hmm. and the community around and mm -hmm. they are seeing the need of also encouraging these kids mm -hmm. just to be morally upright mm -hmm. yeah um so is this a program for maybe class six to eight students or it's just from no the young the young ones no initially we thought we concentrate with the six seven eight but we realized mm -hmm. even the children as young as nine years mm -hmm. are being uh, are recruited into these militia gangs really? yeah it was that serious mm -hmm. from yeah, actually even it, it, it we had a case of an eight-year-old boy been recruited years. in Gaza. You know Gaza? Yeah. Gaza is known. It's a known yeah. militia gang in Kayole. Uh -huh. So we thought now we should now we should not rely on uh, class six, seven, eight kids only. Uh -huh. And so we decided to go down level uh -huh. to class two uh -huh. even to talk to them. Yes. But of course the topics are different. Uh -huh. The way I approach it in class Two is not mm -hmm. the way I'm going to approach it in class, class six, eight, seven, and yeah. eight. Yeah. yeah. So is it given as a lesson or um, it's done, maybe you just combine all of them together? I want to thank the government because mm -hmm. they have slotted that lesson on Thursday where we have life skill program, but that one is not enough. Yeah. So as a patron of the mm -hmm. life skill together with the hand teacher, mm -hmm. we go and next, besides the, the, the normal, that's the lesson for yeah. life skills, mm -hmm. which I want to encourage the teacher to put into consideration because mm -hmm. most of them actually take it to Organted, teach their subjects yeah, yeah. to boost their academic performance but i want that the government for the cbc mm -hmm. now that you are not so much into academics mm -hmm. like what the president said yesterday mm -hmm. let them concentrate on mentoring these kids because i believe they lack the the the, 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 ment the, the life skills mm -hmm. most of them they even don't know about them the assertiveness you know mm -hmm. yeah. to remain no you know the person of integrity the self-esteem all those basic life skills mm -hmm. they're about 16 of them mm -hmm. we need even if you're not going to touch on them, we touch on the basics, like mm -hmm. negative peer pressure, mm -hmm. the assertiveness, the ones, you know, yeah. the main ones, mm -hmm. yeah? The, the, the decision making yeah. and all that. So I believe as teachers and parents, if we take children through the life skills, the basic ones, mm -hmm. we'll have a better generation yeah. in future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, let's talk more about the program. Yeah. What are some of the challenges you've encountered since 2015? Resistance. Mm -hmm. Resistance from the community, like I told you. Mm -hmm. Recently... Oh, it's not from the students? Not from the students. Mm -hmm. The students are good. Mm -hmm. Actually, they are good since I started the program. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, uh, like I said, the negative peer pressure from outside. Yeah. Sometimes I'm not with them during mm -hmm. the holiday. Mm -hmm. Or at times I'm not with them. Mm -hmm. They're at home. Mm -hmm. So you find that uh, they are discouraged. And like I told you, we had a, a show with Chip Kizzy yes. just the other day. Mm -hmm. And then from there, there were threats. Mm -hmm. Actually, there were what threats. What kind of threats? Telling uh, the teacher who is trying to, to mentor the children, mm -hmm. they are lacking customers to sell drugs to. Because I'm telling children to keep off drugs. Actually, mm -hmm. we had a case that we reported so the police station. To you? Yeah, it's a threat to me uh -huh. and, to, and to the hand teacher. Because uh -huh. she has been very supportive of the program. Yeah. So I should not be talking to these kids, I uh -huh. should not be mentoring them, uh -huh. I should not be telling them about Gaza, uh -huh. I should not be telling them about drugs, I should concentrate the teaching according to them. It's uh -huh. a case That's with serious. the OCS Kayole, uh -huh. it's there. But he told me to keep on keeping on encouraging these yeah, kids, and yeah. by the I'm not going to stop, because uh -huh. it's me. Uh -huh. Mentoring is me besides teaching. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you don't, feel, you don't feel like kind of a threat when you're no. walking around? No, I wouldn't, because uh -huh. one, Mm -hmm. I have a lot of support from the deputy president mm -hmm. and I want to believe even if he's not listening he'll have to get to learn this mm -hmm. through the wife. Yes. Uh, though I've never met her mm -hmm. but through her office mm -hmm. and officers they are becoming to school supporting me a lot. Because yeah. we realize that one of the things as these children are being whirled mm -hmm. into the militia guns and mm -hmm. drug trafficking businesses is because of poverty. Because mm -hmm. I go to sit one on one with them mm -hmm. and they told me teacher we don't get food so sometimes you are forced to do this to get food mm -hmm. and all that. So we reached the office of the deputy president and they brought a feeding program. Yeah. And uh, when they brought the feeding program, they felt the need mm -hmm. besides feeding them physically, mm -hmm. also, also, also morally. Mental, yeah. And so they introduced a club. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the deputy president's wife mm -hmm. club known as CHE, yeah. Community Health Evangelism. Mm -hmm. So when they came... But they she's never been there. She's never been there, okay. but she has been sending her officers there. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they occasionally come to our school. Mm -hmm. And when they came and they got to see what I do in my life skills mm -hmm. programs, they were, she was impressed, mm -hmm. of course, through her officers. 
and she incorporated mm -hmm. the, the chair club yeah. with the life skills. Mm -hmm. So we work hand in hand, we work together. And I thank God for the progress so far. Mm -hmm. So the feeding program mm -hmm. and the, and the and chair the life, club plus mm -hmm. life skills, mm -hmm. it's working miracles. Yeah. yeah. I have, I have, I'm hoping that next time I'll get a chance and I come with those of some of the kids yeah, who yeah. have entered. Some confessing that teacher, if it were not for you, because mm -hmm. these people, mm -hmm. if, and they've told you that they've told me that mm -hmm. they've told me that actually one time when you invite me again, I'll come with them because yeah, those them. are the kids, they are mm -hmm. peer educators. Yeah. They are the kids who are encouraging others and they're like, oh, if this did it and she's in the same environment mm -hmm. he's in the same environment i can also yeah, make I it can also yeah because yeah. if you see your fellow students doing it yeah. then you believe in yourself you believe in yourself. so you told me some of the challenges that you're having is maybe threats and resistance yeah. from the community any other challenge well 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 um and maybe the children themselves mm -hmm. doubting themselves yeah it's like can i really make it mm -hmm from where I come from, you know, can I really make it? You know, they doubt themselves, yeah. but you're trying to put that hope in them, mm -hmm. telling them you also came from such places. Mm -hmm. and, and I thank God, at mm -hmm. least that perception is clearing now. Yeah. They're accepting the changes, mm -hmm. and I thank God. And we are involving them. Mm -hmm. it like, I want to thank the ADMP, yeah. Honorable Benjamin Mwangi Gadiru. Mm -hmm. uh, he's really supporting me also with the program, mm -hmm. whereby he involved these kids in a in co environmental conservation. Yeah. You see, you're killing two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. At the same time, they're learning the importance of conserving environment, the environment tender age, yeah. and also engaging them positively. Because uh -huh. what I tell these kids, mm -hmm. and what I tell is not about, because most of them are not bright. Mm -hmm. Most of them are not bright. Mm -hmm. So they are discouraged. And mm -hmm. that is why I'm thanking the president for the new system, mm -hmm. curriculum. I'm really yes. supporting it. Mm -hmm. As much as it's being opposed by, mm -hmm. by NAT, mm -hmm. which I'm a, I'm a, I'm a member, yeah, remember, yeah. but I'm opposed mm -hmm. to him resisting that. Cause mm -hmm. CBC, competence-based curriculum, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's emphasizing more on the pupils' areas of competence yeah. as opposed to academics A's. Yes. Because you can get that A mm -hmm. and become useless in life. Yeah. But you can be We've disciplined, disciplined and yeah. Very great degrees, yeah. um, masters, yeah. but they are wasted to nothing. Exactly. Yeah. So I want these kids from primary level mm -hmm. to secondary to tertiary. By mm -hmm. the time they are, it will challenge them. Whatever you are doing, challenge them. Oh, teacher, talk to me. Mm -hmm. uh, we were mentored. The MP was there for us. Yeah. The deputy was there for us. So, mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, gone are days when you, just, you used to tell them, don't do this, don't yeah. do this. It's about you talking to them. Mm -hmm. Let it challenge them in future. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's talk about the feeding program. Yeah. Is this offered to each and every student? Yes. Or um, it's just specific students? All mm -hmm. of them mm -hmm. for free. Yeah. All of them for free, a balanced diet, mm -hmm. some that never used to be there before. Mm -hmm. It was a challenge. Mm -hmm. It was a challenge because most kids never used to afford lunch yeah and so absenteeism mm -hmm. was uh, was a problem yeah affecting the performance uh -huh. because if a child and is absent is tied to them not having something to eat yeah yeah they, they actually told me uh -huh. yeah I, I had a case not even one mm -hmm. or, uh, or two so many cases telling me teacher was absent uh -huh. because i was not able to get food teacher i was found doing these uh -huh. uh, because i could not get food my mother and you know okay sorry to say uh -huh. most of the parents they are not how do I put it? They, they, they are not hopeful of their kids. Really? It's like go to school, yeah. Uh -huh. So if you don't ask as mentors and teachers, yeah, most of them, by uh -huh. the way, they are, not, they are not there for their kids. Uh -huh. They are comfortable when their children are in school. Yeah. And uh, so we have a lot to do. So we're acting the roles of parents, uh -huh. the role of teachers, uh -huh. the role of counselors, and all others. Uh -huh. So yeah. it's actually true what they say, that these days parents have left the children to the teachers. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. And the problems we are experiencing now, yeah. yeah, they are not there for their children. Uh -huh. So you find that a child will open up the mm -hmm. teacher, even a very private issue. Uh, they will come and share with me. Have you shared with mommy? No. Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. So um, this feeding program, what meals are included? Some break, uh, some uh, meals for break or yeah. and lunch. They take nutritious porridge mm -hmm. at eleven. Mm -hmm very very nutritious porridge at 11 uh -huh. and then lunch time they they take the normal lunch yeah yeah okay that's yeah. interesting um then the the chair program how did you get in contact with the office of the deputy president because can i say it was god's grace through a certain parent mm -hmm. in our school yeah and he happened to be my friend mm -hmm. and so when he's a pastor apparently and so 
I shared with him with mm -hmm. him one time, and I told I repeat to these kids. It mm -hmm. was just a normal talk. Yeah. And I told him because many kids would come to me. Today I don't have food. Mm -hmm. Like in my class, I was organizing how children were going to. Yeah, in your class. Yeah, mm -hmm. I made sure no kid went hungry. Yeah. But I could not feed the whole the whole school. Those yeah. who are going hungry, and no people are different. Mm -hmm. So. And so you were doing it with your finances. Yeah. I was doing it, but the little that we get, you know, teachers, yeah. we are even on the streets are here too. <laughs> but the little that I was getting, uh -huh. and I thank God I never lacked. Yeah, yeah I never lacked. Like Mother Teresa said, mm -hmm. uh, if you can afford to feed all, feed one. Yeah. <laughs> and blessings will follow you. Yeah. So I saw God blessing me mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I talked to this parent, and it was like, I know a church I go to, mm -hmm. and Madam Rich Ruto mm -hmm. goes to that church. Yeah. So one day when I get, to, and I thought it was, it was just a, a, a consolation, mm -hmm. a consolation thing, you know. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, yeah, I'll I try, never thought, yeah. you know, a wife of the deputy president, yeah, I mean, it, it was like almost impossible. You, yeah. But luckily, it went through. Mm -hmm. So when he came to us, together with the hand teacher telling us what he has worked and the deputy and our school has been chosen among the children, the schools that to benefit from the feeding program, mm -hmm. I just thanked God. I just thanked God. I felt like I had achieved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Nice. and from there th she has been very supportive, mm -hmm. giving them balanced diet, giving mm -hmm. them porridge, mm -hmm. ensuring so the mental. So she's also she's the one also um, funding and supporting this feeding program. Yeah, yeah, fully. So she's in charge of the feeding program. Her in her, her office in charge yeah. of the feeding program and the chair. And the chair. Okay. Fully. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are some of the benefits that um, you've seen from um, the club chair? Wow, wow, wow! Oh, great transformation in mm -hmm. behaviors children willing to change. Mm -hmm. We had kids almost joining Al-Shabaab because the community where you have Muslims, a lot of them, but they almost have, yeah. have the, the school, have the kids, mm -hmm. the Muslim, they are mm -hmm. Muslims. So, and we had kids who are about to be recruited. Mm -hmm. They confessed to us, some wow. even about to join Gaza, mm -hmm. and some even being used to traffic drugs, mm -hmm. but they changed. Mm -hmm. And then teacher, we're not ready to die young. Mm -hmm. So transformation, behavior, mm -hmm. and also, Absentism, the mm -hmm. cases of absentism have reduced tremendously. Mm -hmm. There's almost a hundred percent turnout. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, mm -hmm. I would say so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Behavior change especially. Uh -huh. Yeah. And mm -hmm. being present in school. Uh -huh. You know, in school they learn a lot. Because teaching is not about chalk mm -hmm. and the blackboard. Mm -hmm. It tells a lot. It entails a lot. Mm -hmm. Mamba, mentorship and other things. Mm -hmm. So I think behavior was, and also the community has embraced the changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are very, very supportive. Yeah, it's not 100%, yeah. we are there at least at 80%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the school is known to yeah. be disciplined. Mm -hmm. Kaila know it's known to uh -huh. be disciplined. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah, are you any plans of introducing the programs to neighboring schools? Oh, yes, uh -huh. oh, yes. Now that the MP is supporting it fully, and you know, he's not just an MP for Kaila North Primary School, yeah. mm -hmm. so we are planning the plans are underway. Mm -hmm. mm. So currently, it's only um, Kaiola North Current is only Kaiola that North. has those programs. Yeah, but I do it online. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of it mm -hmm. online. And uh, many teachers are embracing yeah. it. But they encourage them a lot because mm -hmm. there was this notion, mm -hmm. teach and go home, you're getting less and all that. And then I told them, teaching is a calling. Yeah. It's in the book of James. Mm -hmm. Oh, and to those who desire to be teachers, uh -huh. take other profession but don't be a teacher because yeah. your judgment will be different. Yeah. Remember, these are innocent kids. Mm -hmm. They are there for you. Mess them up, make them up, up to you. Mm -hmm. When I see a kid coming back to me, I have I, I had a student, multimedia university, I have mentored right from primary school. Mm -hmm. When she comes to me and tells me some of these things I didn't know. Mm -hmm. We used to hear of children from suburb, the counseling and other things, but mm -hmm. you brought them to our area. Yeah. Teacher, I owe it to you. Mm -hmm. I just shed tears. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I feel I've achieved. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. So yeah. I always encourage teachers, please do your best. Mm -hmm. Do your best. Uh, counsel these kids, mm -hmm. not about teaching, and God will bless you. It's Don't true. look at the pennies that you're getting yeah, because you're the remuneration is, is just discouraging. Yeah. But focus in any case, that is where you're getting your blessings. Yeah, true, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So other than um, the office of the deputy president, the area MP, your head, uh, headmistress, who else is on board? Some teachers, mm -hmm. some teachers around, uh, some mm -hmm. parents. Yeah. I have some parents who are very supportive because, again, if you work alone mm -hmm. and you don't have support from parents, yeah. it might be a, an exercise in futility. Mm -hmm. So I have parents assisting, even pastors. I have Pastor Mbogwa from mm -hmm. Faith Evangelism Ministry mm -hmm. working with the Irimo Nelson, yeah. uh, he has also been very, very supportive mm -hmm. of the program. So mm -hmm. I thank God. Mm -hmm. So we are getting to 
a place yeah, soon. That's good. Yeah. So what if someone wanted you think that you're doing you're doing the mentoring online? Yeah. Where would someone find you if they wanted to contact you? Maybe parents, maybe teachers, or even a student. Well, well, well. So far, Facebook mm -hmm. is Jane Mogo. You can use that camera. Facebook, mm -hmm. Jane Mogo. I have my email. Some of them get to me mm -hmm. through email. Yeah. Jane Moreni, mm -hmm. 8 at gmail.com. So I have my number, 0725 mm -hmm. I've worked with parents online, yeah. mm -hmm. some with issues because... Uh, besides what I do also, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we have issues like uh, affecting teens. Mm -hmm. They get depressed and they do the unimaginable, mm -hmm. you know, like for example committing suicide. Yeah. Recently, cases mm -hmm. of teens committed suicide are rampant. Yeah, they, yeah, Juicy, uh -huh. we buried a young boy, uh -huh. 22 years old. In Kayola. Uh -huh. Yeah. He committed suicide. Parents today don't understand why. Yeah. Probably this kid was, and then the parents are like, this kid never lacked anything, mm. were there for him. He mm -hmm. was actually about to graduate yeah. deck, wow. this deck. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he went with a lot of secrets with him. Mm -hmm. So I always tell parents, get to me. And many of them are reaching mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. If I'm not able to get to you one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. we talk via mm -hmm. phone. Yeah. And I get a chance to talk to either to that boy or to that girl. Mm -hmm. And it works. Many yeah. of them are coming online, mm -hmm. appreciating. Yeah. Teacher, you saved my boy and all that because mm -hmm. I believe there's nothing that I can't handle. Yes. I want to sit with that boy and girl. Mm -hmm. Share with me. I had a case in our school. Mm -hmm. The boy almost committed suicide. Wow. He just stopped coming to school mm -hmm. and I got concerned because the moment a, a kid... child in primary school? Yeah. In my class, actually, uh -huh. class seven, because uh -huh. I'm a class teacher, class seven. Okay. And so he stopped coming and he was a bright boy. Uh -huh. So I got concerned. So I sent one kid, go and check what was what is happening with the Joseph. Mm -hmm. So the mother came to me crying and told me, teacher, I wish I could share with you, but mm -hmm. I want it to come from him mm -hmm. and all that. So to cut the story short, the mm -hmm. boy had been sodomized. I, I want to tell you the kind of environment you're living in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he was sodomized and unfortunately because of the poverty, mm -hmm. it didn't go far. And then yeah. the, the guys who are responsible just moved. Mm -hmm. They don't know where they went to. So the boy was there. With the drawing, mm -hmm. he was not able to share with yeah, anybody. No so to. he was there. And so the mother was concerned. Mm -hmm. But I thank God. I got to sit with the boy one on one and we talked. Mm -hmm. And the boy, he can smile now because mine is to put a smile on, yeah. a, on a child's face. Mm -hmm. At least he's, he's good. Yeah. He's good. We shared a lot with him. That's good. And we're still working together mm -hmm. yeah, That's good. with him. Yeah. And many other cases. That's mm -hmm. just one out mm -hmm. of many. So apart from school, I also do it online. Yeah. Yeah, and I get a lot of support from mm -hmm. my Facebook buddies. Mm -hmm. Some are known to me, some are not. Yes. But they just trust me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want us to wind up. So okay. I want you to just maybe give your final words um, to parents who are watching, to young people who are watching. Yeah, and maybe teachers. Well, well, we have a judgmental society mm -hmm. where we find some children, some youth, some teens engaging in some vices and we are quick to judge. Uh, forgetting that we are to blame the teachers, the parents and the society. Mm -hmm. Are we there for those kids? What do you do as a parent? Mm -hmm. How often do you sit with your child? You go out with your girlfriends, you go out with your boyfriends, you go out with your spouses. How often do you go out with your kids? Sit with them one on one, get to share. Let them open up to you. How often? You're busy looking for money, mm -hmm. for wealth, the at expense of taking care of our kids, listening yeah. to them. Mm -hmm. So let's be there for our kids, mm -hmm. please, to save this generation. Things are bad. I'm a teacher and I know. Mm -hmm. Right from primary to secondary to colleges, we have many vices affecting our kids. We need to listen to them. We need to talk to them occasionally. Don't get tired. Yeah. Just talk to them. You're mm -hmm. going to save a child somewhere. Mm -hmm. Let them know there's somebody who understands them. Let them know that there's somebody who can listen to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thank you so much for your insightful thoughts. Yeah, thank and you, Eve. It's a good job that you're doing out thank there. You, thank you, And Eve. keep doing it. Thank you, Eve. Yes, thank you so much for making time to come. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so you. Um, that was Jane, and like she has said, we need to take care of our children so that they can be prosperous and we can have a better coming generation. So don't you go anywhere more of Isaac Youth coming your way.